Hi, I'm Jim. It's great to be with you today. From what we've learned, it's so good to know that we can talk with God about anything that makes us scared and he will help us not to be worried or afraid. Just like God helped Obadiah to be brave when he had to make a scary visit to the king, God will help us to be brave when we might be afraid. Do you remember ever being afraid? Maybe when you had to talk to somebody about something or maybe when you were going on a visit. How about going to a new school for the first time or perhaps a visit to the dentist? I remember when I was very young and how I felt afraid because I had to go into hospital to have an operation. My mum and dad couldn't stay with me in the hospital, but I was able to have a special friend called Dylan who I would often talk to when I was scared about things to be with me in hospital. I'd like to introduce you to Dylan. Here he is. Dylan still lives with me, now not on my bed, but in the back of a cupboard upstairs. Although I don't talk with Dylan like I did when I was younger, I remember that he made me feel braver, but not because he talked back to me, but because I could share things with Dylan that were making me feel afraid. Dylan was a good listener. As I grew up, my friendship with Dylan got less and I discovered the good news that Jesus wanted to be my special friend and that I could talk with him. Better than that, Jesus didn't only listen to me when I spoke to him about things that made me afraid, but when I prayed to him, he would speak to me through the Bible, telling me of his love and his power, which would help me be brave and beat my fears. Over the years, I've talked a lot with Jesus in prayer and he's helped me at many other times when I could have been afraid. Some of these times have been other visits to hospital. Some have been when friends or family have been in hospital. Because God has helped me to be brave, I have since visited other people in hospital when they might be afraid to help them know that they can talk with Jesus and he will help them not to be afraid too. So, just as we learned this week, let's remember that we don't have to worry about anything, but we can speak with Jesus and tell him about everything. Also, as we learn to be brave with Jesus' help, we can also tell other people that Jesus wants to help them to not be afraid and that he can be their special friend and they can talk with him and know his peace. Let's pray to Jesus now. Lord Jesus, thank you that we don't need to worry about anything, but that we can tell you about everything that might try to make us afraid. Thank you that you are with us. Please speak to us and let us know your love and power. I pray that anyone watching today who's afraid or worried about something, that right now they would know your closeness. God, please help us to speak with you in prayer about any worries we carry and help you to know your peace. God, thank you that you hear our prayers and help us through your love and your power in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope that you've really enjoyed your time with us today and what you've learned will help you and others during this week. Remember to come back next week Bye for now.